in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that photo merge manipulation again, but this time it's going to be with a better example. Um, for example, let's have a look at this. What we're going to have is we're going to have it so it's daytime on one side of the image and nighttime on the other. So uh, last night I went and took a picture of the shop and then again today I went and took another picture of the shop again, so this is in the daytime. Uh, so I just need to find the two images which are uh, roughly the same and then we'll show you how to merge them together. Uh, okay, so now we've got the photos. Uh, we've got this photo here and this photo here. So what we'll do is we'll select one, control C, get rid of it, don't bother saving, and then click on this one and press control V. Oh, now what you'll see is there's a big image size difference. One was obviously taken at a medium size and the other one was taken at large, so that's a six and a 12 megapixel difference. So if you look at it, that's the size, roughly the equivalent size of a 6 and a 12 megapixel image. Uh, so first of all, make that a new layer and then let's scale it, let's scale the background down because that's usually better. So get that down to there. Okay, let's drop the opacity a little bit so we can see the images. Okay, what we want to do, we want to kind of line them up so they're roughly the same. So let's see where the actual Mrs. Smith part actually sits on top of each other. Roughly about there. That's not too bad. So I'll go right down. So that's the daylight image. That's the night image. That's roughly in between. So what we'll do, let's do a little crop around that. So we're just looking at these, this image. And that's it cropped to that. So again, if we were to try and do any of the other kind of different layer modes, different blending modes, uh, they'd all come out slightly different. But, so what we want to do is just keep it normal. Uh, on the top one, add on a layer mask. Add layer mask, fill opacity, good. And on the layer mask, put a gradient mark and let's, oh, first of all, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, uh, so gradient, on this image and let's go from one side of the door to the other and there you have it so there we've got sunlight on one side nighttime on the other but what you'll notice is that the mrs smith is all a bit rubbish that's because they didn't do it in the tripod and they didn't do it at exactly the same time so let's just uh, zoom out so let's add that again so let's stick it to there that should be fine. But what we'll additionally do is we'll rub out part of the Mrs. Smith. So this is actually taking out the daytime shot. Now is that good or is that... It's okay, but let's see, maybe we'd like it if it was the other way around. So if we were to be painting it in then it's part of the daytime shot. Yeah, I think that looks better. Let's make sure you get all the bits in the middle. Cool, so let's go back to image. Let's go to flatten image. So there you go. That's a kind of a cooler way of doing the image blending. Might give you a couple ideas of cool photos to do. So, hope that helps. Thanks a lot.